gosh, look at you all. <laughs> Hello, my name's Siv Watkins. I'm the CEO of Eleven Biomics. We use microbes to cure diseases on plants, specifically cannabis. <laughs> Cannabis is a really big deal in this country. We produce something like 1,250 tons of the stuff every year. Each plant is worth around $1,500, and that's just today. The industry is experiencing a growth of around 25% every single year. 250 tons of that, however, can't be used or sold as high-grade product and has to be rendered down to a kind of cannabis sludge beforehand. That represents a retail value of around two and a half billion every single year that's lost to the industry. Why? Because of public enemy number one. This guy. This is powdery mildew. It's a fungal disease, and that 250 tons represents the 20% of every single harvest that is infected with this white stuff. The white stuff is an organism that sticks to the plant, produces these tiny structures called haustoria that poke into the plant cells and suck out the guts of the cell. It damages the plant. And growers will spend up to $10,000 per harvest trying to mitigate, prevent, or treat the effects of powdery mildew. And they will use biological pesticides, they will use chemical pesticides, they will use UV lamps. And what all of these methods have in common is that they're completely generic. None of them are tailored specifically for cannabis, so they're ineffective, and they can damage the plant too. Most importantly, because every single grower in this country is trying to treat the same disease with the same limited range of methods, we're seeing the development of very resistant strains. Powdery mildew is really hard to treat, and it's getting much, much harder. So if cannabis was grown on the side of a mountain in China somewhere 100 years ago, it would be much better at defending itself against diseases and pests like powdery mildew. In the wild, plants recruit microbes to help them fight disease. But cannabis isn't wild anymore. And today, it's grown like this, high density, and the plants themselves are so overbred to select for characteristics like high THC, the trade-off is that they just can't defend themselves as well as they used to be able to. What Levin Biomix has done is mimic the natural process whereby plants recruit microbes to fight diseases for them. We've isolated an extensive catalog of microbial organisms that will fight disease from cannabis biomes specifically. We can go into this catalog pick out the appropriate members and return them to the plants at therapeutic levels as a foliar spray. And we can tailor this, right? We can tailor this to different parts of the country. We can tailor it to different types of grow, indoor, outdoor, greenhouse, hydroponic. We can tailor it to specific strains of plant. What we do is highly targeted, so it's very, very effective. It doesn't harm the plant because these microbes derive from the plant. And most importantly, we're not contributing to the development of resistance in powdery mildew. This is what it looks like. The left-hand panel, you can see a very sick leaf that's diseased with powdery mildew. 12 hours after we treated it, it was cured. And since we've been at Indie Bio, we've been validating our approach on experimental plants as well. The blue line here represents rates of infection in a plant called Skywalker. You can see that five days into the experiment, this poor thing was almost 50% covered in powdery mildew. The green arrows represent the points at which we treated it. By day 10, this plant was cured, and the infection stayed away. We can also use this as a preventative measure. This plant is called Huudi. On day seven, it was treated with one of our formulations. The following day, we challenged it with a very aggressive strain of powdery mildew. And we kept challenging it every day. An infection did not develop, and this plant retained its value for the rest of its life. We've also been performing larger-scale agricultural trials. These data come from a grower in New Mexico who donated 40 plants of Jabberwocky. Jabberwocky is a really popular plant, but it's very hard to grow and extremely susceptible to powdery mildew. Here you can see between days 1 and 23 that these plants were very infected 
to the point at which the grower was considering throwing them out. But they didn't throw them out, we treated them instead. And within a few days, we had infection levels under control. By day 40, these plants were completely cured. So the yellow line here represents the point at which these plants would have to be sludged before they could be sold. The red line represents a total loss. Plants would be unusable. You can see that our treatment brought levels of infection below both of these lines very quickly. And the grower was so impressed by the knockdown capacity of what we were doing and how quickly it worked, they went from being a collaborator to a customer. Because at its most infected but still usable, this plant is worth $300 per pound. And once we cured it, it was worth $1,200 per pound. So we have existing sales contracts uh, in New Mexico and other states. We have technical partnerships with industry leaders across the country, and this is how we're bringing it to growers. It's a subscription model. So a program in which we deal with cannabis pests at a cost of $10 per plant per month. In our home in New Mexico, that represents a market opportunity of $20,000 a month, just in New Mexico. And our margin is 96% at the moment. We want to have 100,000 plants under management by the end of next year. So to do this, we need to expand outside of New Mexico much farther. California, the Emerald Triangle, the East Coast, if we can do this, we estimate that we will be turning a profit by May of next year. We are developing a portfolio of IP based on the many numbers of microbes we've isolated that can do this work for us. We have filed a provisional patent working with Ingensity and Matrix Law, and clearly this approach can be applied to crops of all different types. So there is a potential here to capitalize on the general need for safe and effective alternatives to pesticides. I've been an environmental microbiologist for around 16 years. My partner, Jeff, has been in sales for seven years and in the cannabis industry for two. Our other co-founders and advisors have a range of expertise from business development, cannabis growing, sales in the cannabis industry. So an investment of $3 million is the difference between us staying in New Mexico and us reaching every single cannabis and hemp grower in the US and beyond. If you would like to join our round, please come and chat afterwards. Thank you.